Hello friends, welcome to Nikira Techies. Today I am going to explain how to implement jQuery data table in ASP.NET Core MVC. So this concept is not only for this MVC application. So we can apply for any web application that can use jQuery plugins. First let me go to my application. So in my application, I just populated this employee information. So if you noted here, currently we don't have this pagination and sharding functionality. So once I'm implementing this data table functionality, it will provide the feature of sharding and search and also this pagination. Now let's start our implementation. So in the Google, I'm going to search data table jQuery. So in the first link, so we can use this full getting gate started so if you are using this jquery functionality you have to include this plugins so basically we can download this js and css files or else we can directly use from this cdn so let me take this cdn link let me go to our index page so here only uh, we have this table so let me include both the things And also we can include this jQuery plugin also. It is available in our layout. So now I just added the CDN reference. And the second thing is I am going to create the page load function of jQuery document dot ready. Okay, we have done. And this table I am going to provide one ID. table list okay let me copy this one here I am going to add this jQuery data table if you want to provide any parameters then you have to use like this okay so let me save it I believe we are facing some issue. Let me verify it. Okay, it is saying this data table is not a function. So look like we have some conflict against this jQuery. So then we have to resolve this conflict. So let me define one variable. Then this jQuery dot no conflict. So here after instead of this dollar symbol, we can use this JS variable. Let me refresh the screen once again. Okay, see now uh, we have this drop down and this search and also this pagination. So totally we have this 11 records. So out of 11, it is showing the 10 records. So in this second page, so it is showing only one record. Let me create one more new record. I believe we have 12 records. Yes, you can see these 12 records. So in the second page, we have these two records, right? Okay, it is working fine. And as of now, we have loaded this data using this server call. So in my controller, I am getting this data and I am returning for using this model concept. I am just binding in this table. So instead of that, we can make this uh, Ajax call. So once we have the data in this client side, uh, we can populate the data using our data table concept. So let me try that one also. The first thing is I am going to command this one. We can have this empty body and let me stop this one so in the controller I'm going to create one more function so the method name is get all it is don't have any parameter and our method is get all implies and let me remove this one
okay our method is ready and same way or in our index method the request is not required so let me command it so we can return this empty object only okay now let me rerun the application once again so see now uh, there is no data currently so what i'm going to do let me command the existing thing so instead of that i'm going to create one more new function and our function name is load listing so here i am going to use this ajax call so this is the basic syntax and our method type is post so if the basically i am not provided any request type so that's what the default type is taking post so in case if i'm mentioning it as the get method then we have to provide this one as the get so currently let me have the same thing and our method name is get all so this input data is not required and this condition check also it's not required let me remove everything and let me put this value into this console then let me call this function in this onload method let me refresh the screen once again yeah it is returning the data so basically we have this told records that's what it's returning and let me create the for loop so in this jquery uh, generating the for loop basically we have two options one is we can use this map or else this each function so i am going to use this so the so the first we have to pass this data then we have to write on function so basically the function will return two things the first one is key and the next one is value so in this value only we have our object let me put this one into the console so then only we will get a better idea how the data is coming see now so currently we have this individual objects because we are generated the for loop so the next thing is i am going to add one array so this is the empty array so whatever data is coming we can push this into our array so the first one is code and the second one is name and the third one is email so not a key actually we have to use this value so in this key basically we will get the index that's it email then fourth one is phone so the final one is destination so let me save this one and already we have uh, used this jquery data table concept let me take this one so after our ajax call i'm just including this one so here i'm going to pass the first two parameters data so in this data i'm going to use this m data okay let me save this one i'm going to refresh the screen one second okay some error
okay here the semicolon is not required okay uh, the data table is coming that's what we are seeing this pagination but the data is not binded so why because uh, so before completing our request it is just executed so what we can do let me make this is a synchronous false so if I'm providing like this it will wait for completing the request so after that only it will execute okay let me refresh the screen once again so we are getting some warning it's fine okay so data are populated see the code name and email phone role for this action we not given anything that's what we got this warning also see this page nation also it's working fine and the search so everything is working fine so then I have to include this action also so let me take from here so the first one is edit button so here I'm going to declare one button edit button and the second one is a remove button So finally, I'm going to create one hidden field also. So this hidden field also we are using here. Okay. Let me write in my own way input. And this type equal to hidden. finally value so the value is nothing but this code only let me include it for the final column we can use this one we can collect all the objects in the one place and else let me create one more variable only action equal to this edit button plus remove button plus this hidden field also so in the array we can use this action okay now let me refresh the screen once again see now our edit and remove buttons are coming so we need some space that also we can handle from here okay see the space also it's coming right so now we can uh, check our edit and remove functionalities so when i'm clicking so it is just redirecting and we have operated all the records so once I'm saved, okay, saved successfully, and now it's coming. So even if I'm clicking this remove also, it is working fine. So now currently we have only 11 records. So if I'm deleting this Alex, I believe we have only 10 records. Yes, it is working fine. So that means uh, our all the functionality, including this add, edit, remove, everything is working, and also we have completely included the feature of data table see this starting so currently all of our functionalities are working fine uh, so now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel so in my next video we can see one of the interesting topic thank you thanks for watching